Hello friends and family from Highway 192 in Kissimmee. Today we have a really exciting shopping tour planned. We're going to head over to the Visitor's Flea Market and World Food Trucks and check out the huge selection of Disney merchandise we can find. Some of these thrift stores and flea markets have an incredible amount of Disney items that you wouldn't even know. It's very unassuming, but I'm excited to be here and give you guys the full tour. But before we get started, if you would subscribe and click the bell notification so you're aware of future uploads and live streams we would greatly appreciate it World Food Trucks and Visitors Flea Market is actually located right across the street from Old Town Kissimmee. So you can have a really awesome day. Check out some merchandise here at the flea market and just hang out over at Old Town Kissimmee. Literally, like I was saying, right across the street, you can see the slingshots, the entryway. It says Nathan's Famous Hot Dogs and some of the traffic of uh, 192. It's not too busy today, but I do want to point out a really awesome gift shop right over here. Like I always love the wall murals. You have Elvis Presley over there and Marilyn Monroe. And also, like I was saying, they do have all of the different food trucks located right out front here. And in the backside of the flea market, they have bird dog, Brazilian pressed hot dogs, gourmet burgers, some Dominican food, all the way down, even Machine Gun America. I always love the signage though for these different places and buildings though with like the uh, red, white, and blue with the uh, stars and stripes. World famous food trucks and visitors flea market. Let's head on inside though and see what we can find. Little A-frame here. It says you can get your Universal Studios, Walt Disney World, SeaWorld, and Legoland tickets here at the flea market actually at a discounted price. You can head on inside, do your tickets, and it looks like they do also have a tattoo parlor here at the flea market. Let's see what we got doing. This says Painland Pleasure Tattoo. I did want to point out the hours of operation for the visitors flea market because they don't open until 12 p.m. We did get here a little bit early and they weren't quite open yet. They'll be opening any second, but they do have some signage over here for Disney pins. So hopefully we can find a good assortment of uh, Disney pins, but I am noticing lots of like Disney merchandise right off the bat. Okay, so as soon as you come inside, they have some deals on t-shirts. These are $9.99 or three for $25. I do believe these are handmade, probably impressed in store. Like you have Minnie Mouse's bow, it says sister, Orlando, Florida. They do have one that says son. You click, you get two little thumbs up with Mickey. They have daughter, and then all of them, basically your grandpa, your grandma, and some adult sizes as well, all the way down to dad and mom. But that's a great deal, three t-shirts for $25. It looks like they even have some like Universal Studios type ones with the uh, thing one and thing two. You have sis one, brother one, like they have some good offerings here. <laughs> like sister, brother, over here they have sexy and then trouble. These are $9.99 or three for $25. They kind of have like plushies literally everywhere though. Like they have a larger Minnie Mouse plushie. It looks like they're about $17.99. And then over here they do have the larger Mickey and Minnie plushies. They have two different versions though with Minnie Mouse in a pink dress and a red dress. Over here is a larger stitch plushie. Let's see if we can find the price there, $12.99. And here's some smaller versions of some of the main Disney characters like Daisy Duck. They have a Goofy, $11.99. They have Donald, all the way down to Mickey and Minnie. And over here is a good selection of assorted ears that I haven't seen before, with lots of rhinestones on there. These are $12.99. These are Disney Junior. How about this pair? Yeah, they got some random pairs of ears. I haven't even seen these before, like not even at the local Walmarts. Look at that one with Ariel. You can see like the scales, and then you do get a little uh, charm there, Princess Ariel. Then over here is a cool tie-dye pattern pair of ears. Then they even have a Maleficent pair with a purple bow. Oh, I like that design actually. Let me turn those around and show you. How cool is that though with all the sparkly green? And how about this pair as well? Like these remind me almost like of 101 Dalmatian type ears. 
I do want to go in a little bit further though because it looks like they do have a good assortment of assorted coffee mugs. They have ginormous ones here with Mickey and Minnie and like Minnie's bow is like really sparkly. These are $12.99 a piece. Then over here you have the uh, Mickey and Minnie coffee mug. It actually looks like they're drawn onto it. I love Mickey's different facial expressions. $11.99 for them. Then over here is some classic coffee mugs. I love how these all come with a soup spoon with your polka dots, you have Mickey, uh, Daisy Duck, then Donald, uh, Pluto, and Goofy, so all the characters. $12 for that one. This one's also really cool. Look at that, you got Mickey and Minnie kind of staring off into the sunset, and it says Disney on the opposite side. So they do have a good look at a lot of different merchandise that you don't find everywhere. It looks like they even have some Hello Kitty t-shirts. Look at that though, it's a nice little design actually. Then over here is another Mickey t-shirt. I haven't seen these before, it says authentic department. You have Mickey's facsimile signature. Over here is a tie-dye pattern shirt with Mickey. It says Mickey Mouse right underneath. But look at this one. This one actually reminds me of like that coach pattern that they have with Mickey and Minnie holding hands. They have the camera. It even says Orlando, Florida. They have some Avengers t-shirts. This one here has like all the characters from Thor, Captain America, you have Iron Man, and it says Marvel underneath. I do want to show you guys some of the onesies that they have in the back section. It looks like they're $10 a piece or three for $25. These are like your classic Florida ones though. Look at this, someone who loves me went to Florida and got me this t-shirt, Orlando, Florida. I love that one. Over here, grandma loves me just the way I am, Orlando, Florida. But they even have some like uh, ones here with your family vacation with the Mickey ears. It says uh, family vacation, Orlando. And even one that has Minnie Mouse's bow. Like they must definitely press these shirts inside of the store. I may be small, but I'm the boss, Orlando. That one's really neat. Here's some cool t-shirts. This one says Cinderella, uh, Belle, Ariel, Snow White, and me with all of the princesses. How about some of these shirts that they have with the stripe pattern though? Minnie Mouse, it says be happy. This front store is absolutely massive though, like it keeps going on and on. You have everything from ponchos to license plates you can purchase here. It looks like they even have a bunch of assorted um, beach towels as well. The Wizarding World of Harry Potter. This beach towel is really nice. It actually has the Wizarding World tag. These are $17.99. They have a classic Mickey Mouse version with a bright red. I don't want to undo these because they have them folded so nice. Here's one with Donald. Let's see who else we got in there. It says Florida. I see Goofy in there. Even all the way down here. Let's see what we got doing. Just your classic ones with a flamingo that it says Florida. $14.99. So the non-Disney branded ones are a little bit cheaper. This is seriously something else. You could even purchase some genuine alligator heads here at the uh, flea market. $250 for the large size ones. But like, look at the teeth on these things. Absolutely massive, like staring right back at you. They have some smaller alligator heads, $21.99. But they even have a photo op with a taxidermied alligator here at the flea market. This thing is absolutely ginormous. Like they have them standing up like a human and kind of like waving at you. They even have a good assortment of refrigerator magnets here at this booth. Like look at this, you have Thor. Reminds me of like Funko Pop magnets. These are, let's see here, $5.99. They have Thor, Iron Man, Captain America, Spider-Man, Loki. Look at this though, even Darth Vader, Grogu, Groot. And they even have Groot here with some Christmas lights on. So they do have some festive uh, magnets here for the refrigerator. Even all the way down to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter with Hermione Granger and then Harry himself. Let's actually check out some of the assorted keychains that they have on these racks. These are like your classic ones that just say like Florida vacation and then you have like a flamingo and a heart. This one down here has Cinderella Castle. These actually spin though with a design on both sides. So that is really neat. They even have some down here with some dolphins. Looks like there's some like seaweed and different fish at the bottom. Also, check out these vinyl figurines that they have. Like, these are absolutely massive, like a good size. You have Mickey and Minnie. I don't think I've ever seen these before. That's really cool, though. And right next door, they do have a bunch of assorted Disney princesses. You have Belle from Beauty and the Beast, Princess Ariel. Over here, they have Cinderella. Lots of good offerings. Snow White's over in this section. They even have uh, Olaf, look at him there, just like waving at us. Iron Man. And then over here is Princess Jasmine. 
These are $25.99 a piece. One of my favorites though has to be the Cheshire Cat. Look at them there. Okay, so Cheshire Cat is actually a little piggy bank, so that's really neat. And here's some Thai Beanie Babies. They have a bunch of assorted sizes of Dumbo the Flying Elephant. The uh, small one's $11.99. They even have this ginormous Dumbo. They also have like your quintessential classic Florida take-home gifts like your refrigerator magnets. This one's in the shape of a guitar. It says Florida. $3.99, like some really good deals on some of the merchandise that they have here at this flea market. This one says Orlando, Florida with Cinderella Castle, a much larger size. This one's made out of wood though, $4.99 for that one. And then right underneath is yet another uh, one with Cinderella Castle. It looks like the 50th anniversary medallion is kind of like off there and it just has a little circular medallion, but a great size for only $5. Also in this back section, they have some really nice cinch backpacks for the park. This one says Orlando, Florida with Cinderella Castle. You got a bunch of fireworks going off. These are only $10 a piece. Buy three, get one free here at the flea market. This one says Orlando, Florida. Looks like they did some packing for vacation, some hot air balloons. Lots of different graphics part of this deal though. Like you got some palm trees, some pineapples, and it looks like they do have yet another version with uh, Cinderella Castle. This one just says Florida, but these are really like so soft and very nice quality. Like I like the uh, straps here on the sides. Let's check out some of the assorted pins that they have up here on these racks. So it looks like they do have some Disneyland Paris ones, the Eiffel Tower. This one has Tinkerbell. This one has a Cheshire Cat and even a uh, Minnie Mouse version with her bow. I love some of the pins that they have. Here's a pixelated uh, Dumbo the Flying Elephant. And then right up ahead, you do have Sorcerer Mickey with his hat behind him. That one's really, really cool. A bunch of different offerings though of pins. Underneath you have Minnie Mouse playing peekaboo behind like a ginormous bow. They do have a uh, Tinkerbell one. It spells out her name with her uh, wings right behind her. They even have a couple different Splash Mountain pins here at the uh, flea market. This is cool. Zippity D Lady, it says Splash Mountain. You have Mickey Mouse, it looks like he's getting splashed. It says Splash Mountain right underneath. This one's also really cool. What goes up must come down. A great different selection of uh, pins here for sure. This one says Splash Mountain. You can see like the ride vehicle. That one's really neat. On the other side of the spinny rack, they do have a great assortment of other pins. Like they do have whole little sets here. Nine different pins of Mickey Mouse. One with his facsimile signature. You got some that he like to have heart hands. A classic Mickey hat. This set is features all different uh, Minnie Mouse pins making different facial expressions. That one's really cool. And then you do have a set here with Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Daisy, and then like all the characters. Even Chip and Dale. Okay, so this booth here has a bunch of different Funko Pops. Like, look at this store. I see plushies in the back, like vintage Star Wars action figures, Thai Beanie Babies. I remember that one. They have Aaron with the uh, four leaf clover. They have the uh, red, white, and blue bear. That one's really cool. The end, the peace bear, and then the Christmas bear. Really cool to see some retro Beanie Babies, but lots of assorted Funko Pops at this booth. They have uh, Disney's world famous Jungle Cruise departing daily, it says. That one's $40. Over here is a really neat uh, Hall of Armor Iron Man figure. That one's $30. Even Christopher Robin with Winnie the Pooh. It says Hot Topic Expo 2022. That one's really cool. They have Funkos for days here though. Parks and Recreation, they have Ben Wyatt, uh, $20. It looks like they do have a Funko exclusive, Minnie Mouse. Like that one's like a Pride Collection one with all the Pride colors, $20. Like I feel like the prices on some of the Funkos and different things they have at these booths is actually really, really good. I do want to go over and check out a couple of the other offerings that they have here. They have like an old Iron Man mask. This is so heavy. That one's $30. And then over here, they do have the Lion King and then Little Mermaid. Almost looks like a uh, VHS behind there. These are Amazon exclusives. Lion King is 25, the Little Mermaid's 35. And then right underneath, all the good stuff's usually behind the glass cases. They have a WWE exclusive of John Cena. It looks like they have uh, Princess Aurora. That one's a Walt Disney World one, $45. And how about this huge set that glows in the dark? It's a Walmart exclusive with Jack Skellington, the mayor, Oogie Boogie, uh, Sally, and then Zero for $100. They even have a Carl and Ellie down here. This one is a Comic-Con exclusive. 
They even have some Disney pin boards here. I guess they uh, do maybe a little bit of Disney pin trading, but they got lots of cool stuff. Like this one is a uh, Disneyland resort. They have a bunch here featuring just like Minnie Mouse. It's like a Minnie Mouse popsicle. There's a couple Coppins here. That one has Maleficent on there. It looks like some of the Disney villains, Ursula. You have Bambi, the original Florida Orange Bird. And look at this one. I did not marry for money with Cinderella. You have Princess Jasmine and Snow White. Lots of assorted good characters on here though a bunch of pins that I haven't seen before you have uh, Woody let's see the Incredibles are down there the uh, aliens from Toy Story I like how they do have these sectioned off though, like they have a whole Wizarding World of Harry Potter section of Funko Pops. This is a box lunch exclusive with the uh, Crimes of Grindelwald. You have the uh, Baby Nifflers, that is really awesome. They're actually flocked. And then over here you do have Harry Potter with the Owl Emporium, $40 for that one, only at Target. Let's see what else we got doing. This is a ginormous Funko of Albus Dumbledore with Fox the Phoenix for $50. They have Ron Weasley in his flying car for $40. And then right up ahead, they do have a limited edition Chase with the uh, Potions class. That's cool. Also, check out these like old school vintage lenticular Pokemon cards. This one is a Charizard. That's so neat though. Like I haven't seen stuff like this before. The Charizard just changed form, which is really cool. But lots of uh, Pokemon characters here. We have Pikachu. They have Charizard. Oh, what do we have going on here? Oh, that's really neat. Like I love how these change form. And check out the huge photo op that they have here of Wonder Woman. It's actually like a life-size one. Probably one you would see in like a uh, movie store. Like that one is really cool. And a bunch of assorted like vintage plushies. I see lots of up there. They have Tigger. Some uh, ears kind of uh, just peppered throughout there. Let's see what else we got doing. We got Grogu, Chewbacca, Timon, Pumbaa. All the way down to Donald Duck. This booth does also offer a bunch of assorted Disney pins that I haven't seen before. Grogu, this is like a, uh, or Yoda, like a Valentine's Day. It says, will you be mine? You have, uh, let's see here, Mickey Mouse all decked out. It looks like he has a little Star Wars helmet. And how about this one of Boy BB-8? It says, join the resistance and then BB-8. Yeah, they got some really unique pins here, actually. This one of Stitch is really cool. Let's actually check out some of the assorted Disney Funkos that they have in the back section. They have a uh, Olaf Presents, an Amazon exclusive, Olaf as Simba. They have Olaf as Rapunzel, $25 a piece. They have Sven. Then over here is a couple different uh, Funko exclusives. These are cool though from the Funko shop. These are uh, Anna from Frozen and then they have a Disney Princess one of Moana. That's really neat. And how about some of the other Amazon exclusives? They have the genie there. There. He's holding his lamp, but it's actually Olaf. Like, I love these, how they have Olaf kind of posing as different Disney characters. They have Olaf as Ariel, Olaf as Moana, and they even have a Disney 100 of Carl and Ellie up there. You could really get immersed, though, with all these Funko Pops that they have. They have Walt Disney Archives, totally Minnie Mouse. She comes with a little collector's base, $15. Over here, they have an exclusive limited edition Pumpkin King with Jack Skellington. That one is uh, scented. And then over here, they have a Disney 100 Mickey Mouse. Like, half is the, like, the black and white classic version. Then you have just the normal version of Mickey, a Hot Topic exclusive. Then they have a 50th for Walt Disney Archives, one of Mickey Mouse. I love these, though. Preserving the magic, it says on the base. Then up head here, they have a bunch of assorted puppets and plushies. It looks like they have most of the seven dwarves. Look at Dopey there. They have Grumpy and a bunch more plushies up top here. I'm seriously blown away by the amount of Disney merchandise, like the pins that they have, the clothing, all of the vintage toys, Funko Pops, action figures, plushies, like they have ears everywhere. And these are just the first boots as soon as you come inside of the Visitor's Flea Market. Let's actually head a little bit further in and see what else we can find. Like not all of the booths are open here at the moment, so like you'll see some that are kind of like uh, partitioned off. They have some religious artifacts and some different types of booths. Not everything is like Disney related. There's some signage up ahead. There's a food court uh, back there as well. Okay, let's see what we got doing up here in this section though. Okay, so they do have like some like different types of backpacks and different things. Some sequence ones. 
they got some Disney 100 that I haven't seen before. They're called Magic Sequins. Some with the Disney princesses. And then up there they do have an unknown species with Mando and Grogu. So you will find some uh, Disney related items kind of peppered throughout in the back section. These actually look like some higher end backpacks. Let's see here, $45 a piece. They have a Mickey, a Minnie over there, and even some Betty Boop ones in front of the Eiffel Tower. The next booth here is actually really cool. They have a bunch of assorted keychains. Look at some of these. They have a little Charmander. They have a Blast Toys. You have a Pikachu. They come with a bunch of assorted little charms. It does look like they have ones from like all different things, even Rugrats. Let's see what else we can find down here. A bunch of the Looney Tune characters. You have the Tasmanian Devil. That one is so cool. And check out down here, we have Stitch. Okay, so there's even some Wizarding World of Harry Potter. You have Harry, you have down here Draco Malfoy, and it looks like they also have some Disney characters like Mickey and Minnie. These keychains are really unique though, like I've never seen anything like these before. They come with a little silicone band on them and some extra little charms, but you can even purchase a good assortment of like different gibbets for your Crocs here. Look at that, you have like a uh, Cinderella one, you have, let's see here, Princess Ariel, and it looks like they also have some Harry Potter ones as well. You have Harry on his broom, and then over here is Snow White. But they have a good assortment of everything, even like different from Disney. They have some, uh, let's see here, Pikachus. They have the Pokeball, even some like baseball ones and different anime. Look at this table though. This thing is absolutely massive, just lined with gibbets. I do like how they have everything decorated for the holiday season though. Like check out these ginormous nutcrackers that they have. Little photo ops they have with some Christmas ornaments and different things. But this kind of spills into even more Disney merchandise. They have some kids hoodies. These are actually a full zip with Mickey and Minnie. $24.99 for that one. Then you do have yet another one over here. Mickey and Friends. It says Disney. You have Mickey, Goofy, Pluto and then uh, Donald Duck on there. And look at this entire area. How fun is it to walk through here? Because it's like uh, nighttime all the time because you're inside of a building. Some photo ops that you can take with Santa Claus. This is really like something else though. Like I wasn't expecting that they had anything like this here at the flea market. It does look like they have a back section where you could probably meet Santa Claus. This booth here is called the Rage Room. Check this out though. Book now, they do birthday parties, date nights, baby reveals. This is absolutely crazy. It says legally go crazy. Look at this though. Like there's a bunch of like broken remotes, TVs, and all sorts of things inside of here. Like there's a ginormous TV screen that's been smashed. I think they like give you a hammer. There it is. So they do have hammers and different things where you can actually like go inside of this cage area and smash like TV screens and all sorts of different stuff. Like, how unique is that? We had such a great time today hanging out here at the Visitor's Flea Market. Like, I knew it was going to be really cool and a different type of video to do, but I wasn't expecting all the really rare collectibles, the assortment of Disney pins, ears and clothing that they have here like this place is absolutely massive like you can spend all day like the back section they do have an entire area with literally just all different food trucks you could eat different food from all over the world and get some really great assortment of Disney merchandise pins that I, quite frankly I haven't seen before but if you like any of the merchandise in today's video definitely check out our patreon page the link to that is in the description box at the